Every time I lay my head at night, I pray to God, watch over me, cause I ain't living right. Reminiscing how I told you that I've been hurt before. Then you <laughs> it's a beautiful day today in Florida. Welcome back to my YouTube channel, guys. And congratulations to President elect Joe Biden and Vice President Kamala 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 Harris. Or however you want to say it. <laughs> congratulations to the both of them. Leave a comment in the comment section. Let me and, and let me know how you guys feel. <laughs> oh man! Congratulations to them, man! Congratulations to them. I feel good. I had knew they was gonna win. Uh, why I said that? Because I pray about it, you know, and I believe that they was gonna win. And everybody, a lot of people tired of Trump. Keep running his mouth, saying anything. This man, don't, it's like he don't even think. You know, he don't think what he say. He don't think before he open his mouth. He just open his mouth without thinking. You know, but yeah, um, I just want to let everybody know to be safe out there, you know. Because we don't know how this thing is going to turn out to be. How his people going to react. Especially in... Uh, I haven't seen no nothing here in Florida. I guess not on my side. I don't know about the other side of Florida. I don't know. But for the different states that was going crazy. At the, 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 the centers that they was doing the counting. I hope those people don't act out or go out of place and do nothing stupid because there's no point of killing each other, go to war with each other. That's the most stupidest thing. They should accept defeat and just call it a day. Just like what we did back in 2016 when Hillary lost. You didn't see nobody was going crazy and walking around with guns and all those extra stuff. Everybody, we accept defeat. You know, that's how it goes. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. You cannot always win. You cannot always lose. You know, you will. It, there will always be a winner. There will always be a loser. And that's just the fact. But congratulations to them. They're going to swore in, uh, of course, in January 20. Uh, and see how he's going to turn this country around. Because right now, we really need a president. Because for the last four years, it's been a long... It, that last four years felt like felt like 10 years with Trump. Because of his mouth. Disrespectful. Bully. It was just the, the hatred. The division. <laughs> yeah, so I'm happy... I'm happy, I'm happy. And also what I'm happy about, since he won Georgia, and I think Georgia have two Senates, because the Democrats won the House with two, 209. Because the closest race, the closest, the, the race is close. The race is close, sorry about that. The race is close in, um, in Georgia with the Senate. So I think they're going to have a runoff. If you don't know what that means, you could look that up. So they might have another vote in January for the Senate, for the Senate race, for the who's going to win the Senate. And I'm going to pray to God that the Democrats win the Senate. Once they have the once they win the Senate, the House and the, the win the Senate is going to be a wrap. It should be an easy move for Joe Biden to do what he want to do on his agenda instead of having the, the Republicans blocking and stopping and do what they want to do, give him a hard time. Nah, not this time. So I'm going to do everything in my power to pray on that. Hopefully they win the Senate because they already won the House. <sighs> Man, I feel good. I feel, I feel good, guys. I feel so good. Congratulations to them. Congratulations. Congratulations.
But guys, uh, let me let me know how you guys feel. You could leave it in the comment section. And that's what a lot of people don't know. You know, because it's not because you when you are president, you could do anything you want. No, they will have it's three branches of gov government. Because a lot of people don't know that. People think that, oh, because you're president, you could do everything you want. Nope. It does not work that way. You still have to get certain bills to pass. And they have to, you have to have the, 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 the House got to pass it to the Senate. The, the, who, whatever vote it gets. And once it get uh, uh, enough votes, they'll pass it to the president. And the president will sign it off. So... Just want to teach the people who don't know. That's just how it works. That's just how government here in America works. One man can't do it, do it all. But they will bipartisan. They will work with each across each party. Work with each other. Do what they got to do to make something happen. You know. <sighs> but yes, I'm happy. I know a lot of people down here in Florida. Well, in Broward, Florida is happy because down here in Broward, in Fort Lauderdale, majority of the people over here is blue. <laughs> it's Democrats, like, for real. But, uh, yeah, um, I'm excited. I can't wait to tell my mom. She probably knows she at work. She probably know because, you know, they, they should know. So... I'm happy. I'm excited. No more Donald Trump and his shenanigans, his foolishness, his disrespectful, his attitude, his temper tantrum. <sighs> All that is over. Oh, my goodness. All that is finally over. Praise the Lord. So he still have a little time left. What, like another month? Another month of... Uh, of presidency <laughs> he's out of there in january and oh yeah and one more thing what i learned uh if a president don't want to concede he don't have to concede it's not in the constitution but in article two in the constitution when the 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 new president elect inauguration uh those, if Trump don't want to leave, he will turn into a guest. Yes, he will turn into a guest. And and well, what happened when a guest is unwanted? He will get removed and he could get arrested because he's basically trespassing. So no matter what he, how hard he tried, what he tried to do, if you don't want to move, because I don't care about the conceding part. You don't have to concede. But when it's time for you to get out of there, remove you, you will have to move. It's either you leave peacefully, quietly, or you will be removed by force. I was reading, when I was reading up on that, I was, man, I was rolling. <laughs> it, was, it, was, it was too funny. I was like, wow. Yeah. On warning guests, you will, you will get arrested. Because you're basically trespassing. Yep. So, yeah, guys. I'm happy. How do you feel? How do you feel about the new president-elect? I am I am happy. I'm stress-free. I'm excited. Oh, man. I can't watch his... I can't wait to see what's on the TV. See how the news, everybody reacting. But I will be uploading this video, guys. Let me know. <laughs> Let me know how you guys feel. Thank God for life. Don't forget to wash your hands. Wear your mask. Be safe. Because right now in, in America, the, the corona cases is out of control. It is out of control. So, guys, keep the faith. Pray for one another, your enemies, your neighbors, everybody, you know, because God is a God that forgives. He see all he love each and every one of us. 
no matter who we are, what color, what gender, he loved each and one of us. So I want you guys to be safe. Keep praying, hoping for the best. Do what we got to do to help each other. Help our families and friends. Spread the word. You know, have a safe and blessed day. Peace out. Bye-bye. And leave a comment in the comment section and let me know how you feel. I am so happy. What about you? Peace. Bye-bye. Take care. Get into the money, get into the money. Get into it. Get into the money, get into the money. Get into it. Get into the money, get into the money. Get into it. Get into the money, get into the money. Get into it. Get into the money, get into the money. Get into it. Get into the money, get into the money. Get into it. Get into the money, get into the money. Get into it. Get into the money, get into the money.